Sure. Yes. Uh, All right, so here is the unit, 203. And it's obviously currently occupied. It's a, I'm gonna make an assumption, say a, a single lady. It's a 55, an older community, as I know you know. And carpet could probably use a little bit of cleaning. The stains look worse on the video than they do in person, but there's not a lot of stains, just you know, normal wear and tear stuff. So here's the balcony, looks out into the courtyard. You get some mountain views, staring right at the sun. <laughs> That's Palmer Park right there. Got the community center over there. And the garage will be back behind the unit. And I'm not gonna go in the garage because my showing window was about over. The people who showed previously had the key with them, so I sat out and waited about 15, 20 minutes for them to come back from wherever they went. But you do have a one garage stall, similar to Daybreak, I guess, in that sense. Um, this door is original. It's not too hard to slide, but it obviously doesn't feel like it's brand new. Baseboard heating. These windows are new, or newer anyways. They're vinyl. It's just me. I'm going to get my keys. Okay. So dishwasher looks newer. Fridge looks newer. Stove looks like it could be original, as does the vent fan. Cabinets look decent shape. They don't look new, but they look decent enough. And you got a little more storage over here. All right, so let's check out. Got a pantry. That was probably a coat, it was a coat closet at some point. So we'll head down the hallway. The first stop on the right is laundry. Decent sized laundry room. The main bathroom here has a shower and there's no room to put a tub in if you wanted to put a tub in. Just not room for that. I'll turn the light on. There we go. A uh, slight drip. Once again, at this price point, it's not gonna be something totally immaculate. Decent sized bedroom. We gotta walk out to another balcony, which is kind of nice. I'm not gonna go out on that one. Same view, same doors as the other one. Closet doors would need to be installed if you wanted closet doors. Clearly it's not something they care about. Um, linen closet. And here's the master. No balcony off the master. Got a heater in here, the baseboard heater. Pretty good size. You could fit a king bed in here, no problem. Then you got a tub here in the master. I'll turn the light on here again. I mean, things look in decent shape. They're just old. The carpet might be the newest thing in this, in this room along with that one window. Then you got the walk-in closet, it's actually pretty good size. Goes back behind the door. So, I mean, the carpet's actually not in bad shape except for that one stain we saw earlier. But everything else looks pretty original with the house or with the condo. I mean, that could be newer, but to me it feels original. And I'll show you the outside. I know you know this area, but I'll show you the outside anyways. Like the uh, front of the building is what I mean. So this would be where a dinner table would go. And they obviously had some kind of table here underneath the chandelier. 
So once again, newer appliances except for the stove and the vent fan. That window is pretty new. Those are probably original. Carpet looks newer, but although it does have a stain or two. And then, yeah, so I'll take you outside. So here's the entry hallway. That's towards the elevators. And that's a back entrance from the street parking, I guess you could say. All right, I'll head to the elevator and I'll lock the key up. So that's a door that goes to the elevator. I took the elevator up. But I'm gonna take the stairs down. All right, so at the main level, this is the elevator that goes up. That's essentially the security door that you need a key to get through. So you take the elevator up, and then this also needs a key. So these keys work for this door. So if I wanna take the stairs, you can do that. If I wanna take the elevator, you can take the elevator up and then get to the second floor that way. And this door is unlocked during the day. I think unlocked in general. And here's the courtyard. I am parked on the street over there on MacArthur. These are the other buildings here. And here's your mailbox. And that's the clubhouse over there. So you can kind of see in there. That's the community center. We have events there and things like that. So these are some of the access of the other buildings. And that over there is your building. So another part of the entryway there. And then got restrooms. <laughs> so, so that's it. I'll go over and show you the garages. So there are three entrances to the building. One's right here. And here's Palmer Park. And then, so your unit is on the other side of this building. So your space is the courtyard and not the parking area. Here are the garages. I don't have the info as to which garage it is, but we got three 104, three 206, 306, 303, 307, 302, and here's 203. So if I'm a gambling man, I might say this one is the one that goes to the unit because it's labeled 203. So I would take that guess. Then 204, 105, 209, and so on. And it's the third building. So that's it. So you got reserved parking here as well, and they're labeled the same way. 2109, 3304, and so on. So I would venture that your parking, your reserved spot is a little further down that way. We missed it because we're looking at the garages. So that's the unit. And the parking. And here's the other entrance. So this, is, this would be the third entrance, I guess, into your building. And my car is parked down right behind that truck. All right, I'll get this uploaded.